My name is Walter Edwin Langbein, Jr. I uh, went to George Williams College undergraduate and graduated in 65, master's degree in health in 69, and a PhD from the University of Wisconsin at Madison in uh, 90. I'm Mary Langbein, and I have a degree from George Williams College, a master's degree, 1969. Following that, I taught at George Williams College um, for from probably 1971 until 1985, and we currently live in Downers Grove. We, we uh, got married uh, in 1967 up at the chapel at Lake Geneva. I came to George Williams College because I had a relative who under physician care was using a skill known as progressive neuromuscular relaxation to treat um, a stress-related illness. He knew that I was in physical education. He said, you know, this really is a skill that maybe you ought to think about incorporating into a curriculum. And there's only one place in the country where this is being taught as part of that curriculum, and that's George Williams College. And then another connection was made with an executive from the YMCA of Pittsburgh. He thought it would be a good idea for me to go to George Williams College and look for a career in the YMCA. One of the things I always think of when I remember or think about George Williams College is the place. Being a student in the Hyde Park campus um, was a tremendous opportunity to get immersed in a very, very diverse community. And through that diversity, it brought students from really all over the world, all of whom had a, an interest in um, careers related to human service. But um, it was a great collection of individuals, and we learned from each other not only about what we were studying and learning from internships and field placements, but also about one another's values and beliefs. Um, so it was a wonderful, wonderful place to, uh, to learn. At the time, early time in George Williams College, there were more males than there were females. And I always think this is a bit of a humorous element in uh, my undergraduate work where we were in social dance class and you had to partner up, but to being the shortage of females, the males who were playing the female role had to roll up one pants leg so you'd know who was who. <laughs> Dr. Steinhaus um, truly was one of the pillars at George Williams College. It always amused me was that if someone was daydreaming or kind of dozing or not, not present, he'd take a piece of chalk we used chalk in those days. <laughs> Take a piece of chalk without skipping a beat and his lecture would lob it and was always right on target, either at the top of the head or kind of in the lap and then just continued on. I took uh, some graduate classes from Nelson, but Mary's and my biggest experience with Nelson was with September camp and also his uh, travel camp program for teenagers. That, Every summer went around the, the country in expeditions uh, backed up by educational experiences as we went along. September camp was essentially the creation of uh, Nelson Weeders and Gene Norris. And when I first came on board, they were running the show. And students would arrive, and it was just like camp. From the beginning to the end, a lot of pressure was put on the students but it was all done with compassion, although they weren't sure that that was the case. But it, it, was, it was a wonderful, wonderful experience. I think, again, the, the bottom line was that there was so much self-discovery that went on, um, taking them beyond what their comfort level is. And those lessons do always stay with you. All right, I'll say that I did a rough calculation on this and that 30%, approximately 30% of my lifespan was spent in some way at George Williams College. What George Williams College has meant to me is that um, in everything that we do, we should try to pursue excellence. That just getting the job done for the sake of saying it's finished without giving it 
one's best is not enough. And I think that was instilled as part of this community. I think without knowing much at all about it, but the servant leadership initiative that Aurora um, has, is involved with is very much a part of, of you know, what is needed, whether, regardless of where the leadership is, but to really have a focus on what does it mean to be a leader. It's more than being number one at the top of the organizational chart. My hope would be for the university's commitment, the alumni's commitment, of the resources necessary to sustain the growth and the uh, successful execution of the mission of the college to train professionals in the field of human service. My wish is that um, there be continued success in keeping that flame burning.